Okay, yeah. I'm trying to uh, find where I can actually set the uh, the uh, zoom on 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 the lens. And it seems like it <laughs> seems like it's available sometimes as a an icon to like thoroughly click on. More so with the uh, the camera than the video, but truthfully so with the video uh, as well. It just seems to be uh, for whatever reason. <laughs> anyway, so like I was going to get the, to the uh, the part about the uh, the, the Voyager. Uh, as well as like the real time, you know, truthfully, you know, some of the, uh, the I have the Tascam uh, uh, 400, um, whatever it is, it's a, it is a rack, it's a 19 inch rack mounted uh, real time, and it's like all digital, and you know, I'm not real sure if uh, uh, anything to do with the baud rate, I'm not real sure, I've tried to find out, as a matter of fact, I'm trying to find information anywhere about controlling um, any um, variant of like RPM, what would be like uh, digital and processing as well what would be like you know the old analog issue between like a some similarities of a voltage regulator or um uh, attenuation is like the word in parallel or something like ua like almighty you know like absolute attention thing right so anyway yeah so seriously and um anyway that's like a yeah it's one of those 140 like you know words like <laughs> something about somewhere in between electrical and electronic um issue yeah so like 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 in addition yeah i'm thinking about the uh, the issue of like RPM on Highway 288 and uh, reflecting uh, somewhere in attenuation and some like regulating factors. If that's really like a, a regulating factor somewhere in between analog and digital. And you know, I'm not real sure. As a matter of fact, I'm trying to find the information if there's like, a, I haven't really got into it and, and really, uh, <laughs> I'm not sure if the baud rate is actually has any factor to do at all with controlling the digital processing speed. Hmm. Or if that's like a, you know, I would almost perceive that would be almost like a demanded, uh, you know, uh, manufacturer default as a international like standard, and it shouldn't be like really a question of processing. Although there is the issue of like, you know, what's identified now as real time, and uh, I don't, I don't know if that would be considered uh, what real time really is, and if that real time is based upon you know a personal preference or an administrative, you know, like a. <laughs> Thing about you know attenuation and you know some, somewhere in between voltage regulation and uh, uh, digital processing and like I say you know I've, I've tried to find out just by asking you know because uh, you know <laughs> for quite some time I've known and, and unfortunately it's, it's, it's unfortunately it's, it's it's not that I want it to be the truth it's just that you know a lot of information that was like seriously available and not a question about you know the the demanded standard and uh, <laughs> not you know a, a publisher's version of you know like uh, you got to be kidding me kind of thing, you know, but, uh, yeah, so, I mean, that's not funny, and, uh, the baud rate, you know, it's like, it, it's, it's so, some aspect about the, the digital processing, uh, you know, even with, like, some of the available information, uh, predominantly what is available, I mean, truthfully, I mean, as far as, like, uh, you know what options are, uh, uh, as far as availability, uh, that would seem to be something involving, in my mind, um, uh, that fact about, uh, uh, attenuation as well as baud rate and I don't know how true I haven't truthfully seriously even got truthfully serious about you know trying to find out what baud rate is but it seems to be somewhere in my mind um, something of digital processing and how true it is truthfully I'm not sure yet but you know it's like automatically something I hadn't normally seen and I'm not sure if the uh, real time is actually suggesting um, <clears throat> uh, what that means I mean if there's like seriously a a dimensionally cost issue or, or you know some like you know counterbalancing earth effect signal changes or you know some rectification somewhere in between processing between a uh, electrical and electronic or what that might mean somewhere uh, as far as some integrating factors you know truthfully like when I look at the uh, the Behringer um, um, uh, Ultra Curve Pro um, hmm, 2496 it's the DEQ 2496 uh, you know, likewise, I had mentioned that before. Is that it seems to be like, you know, I immediately noticed that. I mean, it's like a, you know, it's still, I've had it for like quite some time. And I still haven't truthfully counted how many special effects signal processors are involved. But I mean, it's somewhere around maybe six or seven uh, special effects, uh, multi effects uh, signal processors combined in one with like, God, I think there's like maybe five or six, maybe even seven meters. Uh, uh, one of them being a spectrum analyzer and uh, somewhere in between. Uh, you know, I haven't truthfully done it myself as far as like parametrics, uh, customizing and manipulating waveform. Uh, you know, I've mentioned it before. It's really not the idiot's fee what I know it's supposed to do. Uh, but truthfully, I mean, it's like a, a something that really I'm going to obviously going to get into. 
And you know, I don't like you know, <laughs> you know, claiming the learn as I go thing, but you know, I know that truthfully that some of the already what I've already experienced with the uh, uh, the sound, it seems like it goes beyond what normally a limiter, expander, compressor, signal processor would do by controlling, you know, either clipping off any, uh, uh, you know, uh, extended, you know, if you want to call it a decibel range that would like constitute beyond the parameter uh, or a combination of uh, the decibel range and the, the frequency and keeping it within, you know, what would be, uh, if you want to call it a boundary or, or a parametric boundary uh, uh, and compress it and like, you know, compress it and intensify it and control it where it doesn't sound like anything other than uh, it being controlled as a demanded standard, not necessarily anything going beyond, like, you know, something like psychoacoustics and surround sound or even quadraphonics, sometimes even stereo. I mean, it, it can be done, but, you know, uh, in any case, yeah. So um, that's something about the, the, the integrating mathematics, if there's some current converting factors, once again, you know, and, and you know, like I said, the baud rate is like something new to me. And I'm, I'm not sure if that actually is something involving real time and what actually real time is. And if real time is like deviant from like a, a metronome or, you know, any uh, no chasing as compared to tempo, uh, base per beat per second, or what the standard of like real time, what real time really means, um, whether it, if that's like a demanded default or, you know, just like a natural, you know, personal preference or whether if that's like a geographic, what's available geographically. And truthfully, by now, you know, as far as linguistics go, I'm assured, you know, I mean, I'm almost certain that sometimes somewhere uh, uh, in other parts of the world that maybe all that might be a factor of what like, you know, uh, <clears throat> linguistics might involve as far as information uh, ultimately affecting any like, you know, nativity um, uh, or origin of like what, uh, if you want to even call it citizenship at that point, uh, or, you know, uh, uh, a standard that would be, you know, believed as the ultimate uh, available information resulting maybe in distinguishable difference of what real time is geographically, you know, or if that like in, in, involves like a economics um, to the extent of whether or not if there's like domestically caused participation or you know the first second and third world issue like you've heard before like on world news order the case may be so you know that's truthfully you know maybe a factor you know i'm not real sure maybe i should you know but really i'm not going to maybe worry about it. i might you know look into it later but you know it's something on my mind anyway what real time might mean in other parts of the world as far as like a types of origin of music or tribal aspects of uh predominantly uh, <clears throat> what would be normally uh, whether if a standard is a, a default uh, of uh, truthfully native nativity or origin in that manner so anyway yeah so likewise the real-time issue involving digital processing I'm you know I'm gonna look into the baud rate I'm trying to find out I haven't even had a real you know uh, answer as far as it goes but uh, I haven't even been able to find information anywhere like even on YouTube and it's ridiculous I mean you know oh god you gotta be kidding me right so anyway, like I'm going to look into it, but that was like something I automatically immediately like recognized between <clears throat> the bits per second of, you know, digital processing speed as compared to frequency in hertz. Uh, it seemed to be like the increments, you know, would automatically be, you know, between four, uh, uh, four sets of 24, ultimately going to the uh, 96 between the Behringer Ultra Curve Pro DEQ 2496 multi-signal, multi-effect signal processor. So, I mean, it looks like to me, just like looking at it automatically <clears throat> as compared to like some of the information that's involved with some of the, the degree plans involving signal processing that uh, I looked at like at, at, at uh, the University of Miami, as a matter of fact, and some issues of geographic color codes ultimately getting into the international financial management all the way to Sox and Goldman in New York. And, you know, Los Angeles, like all the way to Florida, some I-10 like, binary, like computer language issue, right? So, anyway, yeah, so it, truthfully so, and <clears throat> something about the... Uh, information that was provided uh, in the degree plan <clears throat> automatically like related like a color code issue geographically as well as uh, as far as like uh, if you want to call it degrees or um, you know any electronic you know value of like color codes as well as electrical as well or you know even like you know the colors of like you know Los Angeles all the way to Florida and Miami right so like there's some comparable reference to like all the way to the house of cards kind of like with the Fox and Goldman issue and uh certain aspects involving uh, what electronic power means to like international, if you want to call it international financial management or like uh, <laughs> storage area network and SAN software or like securities and annuities, yeah, and all that good stuff as far as like the Federal Reserve and all that, the uh, New York Stock Exchange, the commerce, what decides what's on or offshore, you know, uh, what, what things is whether if <laughs> importing and exporting involves deporting or whatever the case may be, or what constitutes what commerce suggests or not suggests is whether uh, 
uh, any um, <laughs> import and exporting is either considered on or offshore, either whether that matters if it's on or offshore at all, uh, what commerce seems to be like really the issue, like that if, if that's called governance or what tariff means to uh, like an entry exam, you know, import and exporting, you know, some protected waters within the boundaries of the United States, if that involves even a, a U.S. patent, right? Or even a trademark, um, you know, or ultimately, you know, uh, whatever I can go on about it. Anyway, so like I'm going to look into that. I'm going to take another break yeah, and try and, uh, you know, decide. It's getting a little late already, so I'm going to like do a few more and uh, take a break and uh, maybe upload some of the YouTube. So anyway, there it is right now. I'm going to take a look and, and take a break again. And yeah, I'm going to do that all the time. Anyway, that's what it is right now. And huh, hopefully I'll be able to control that uh, digital processing speed because um, hmm, that's not funny, okay? So anyway, yeah. So maybe I need to update myself with the information and like really get involved in a, in a way in an area that like would automatically be like an automatic normal <laughs> phenomenon. It's like really not so funny. So, and, so if that's like some great issue that like seems to be uh, what attention and absolute value means and uh, processing and where that's at when it's not in and out or up and down or <laughs> reputable standards of consensual participation are you kidding me is that like not a ghost or not is there some degree plan there oh my god there it is again oh my god yeah oh uh, yeah the macho essay thing right okay anyway yeah take a break right here